During my trip to Marmaris, I was hunting for a real Turkish ham man. But most of them were pricey and touristy. When I was near Marmaris Bazaar, a local vendor advised me to visit the Bazaar Turkish Bath. A traditional hammam that was mostly packed with locals. Turkish baths are a type of public steam bathing, that is connected to Islamic culture. The high temperatures and humidity inside Turkish baths, encourage sweating, which leads to the release of toxins. Ham ma'am is a major component of Turkish culture, and serves as a place for both, cleansing and relaxation. Additionally, certain soaps are employed to promote skin renewal and exfoliation. The Roman bath culture, was passed down to Ottoman Turks, since it was prevalent in Asia Minor, and was associated with Islamic culture. In Islamic societies, the bathhouse has both, religious and social significance. The Turkish bath, was accessible to all castes. Cleanliness and respect for water use, are essential components of Islam. The majority of traditional Turkish baths, have separate areas for men and women. Traditionally, telak, that refers to a male masur, will first use a hand-woven washcloth, that called kese, to scrub the body for 20 minutes. Later, a foaming wash and a Turkish massage, are provided by the trained bath attendants, inside the hammam. All of these wellness pleasure rituals, are included in a traditional Turkish bath, and last for about 50 minutes. Turkish massage, is hydrotherapy that has a miraculous effect on both, mental and physical well-being. It is recommended for all skin problems, and for relieving muscular tension. Several body purifying techniques, are included in the Turkish massage practice, including a foam massage, with hot water and hydration with essential oils. This video is an excerpt from the book, Ancient and Traditional Healing Secrets, of the Middle East. The link to purchase this book, can be found in the description. Middle Eastern ethnic groups use numerous herbal and holistic remedies. On my quest to complete my book, Ancient and Traditional Healing Secrets of the Middle East, I visited many Middle East regions and countries, including Bahrain, Egypt, Jordan, Dubai, Qatar, and Turkey. I tasted, the nutrient-rich, Middle Eastern cuisines, and I found more about the superfoods in these locations. But the healing treatments, the Middle Eastern spirituality, and the traditional Islamic medicine, were the main reasons that I visited most of these countries.